Today I want to share how to reduce fine lines and wrinkles around the eye area. Now that's something that I really struggle with and I know that some of you are wanting to know because as we get older, there are more lines around this area because expression lines, smile lines, and our skin's just getting older. So it's nothing to be sad about because aging is a beautiful natural process. You know, like the beauty industry, society makes us feel like aging is such a bad thing, but if you think about it, it's not. Just embrace whatever lines and wrinkles you have. You know, it's gonna form no matter what as you get older. But I do want to share with you some of the ways that you can minimize the look of lines in your lifestyle, uh, skincare, and makeup. So let me share them with you today in this video. I'm gonna start off with lifestyle changes first. And the most important thing that I like to do is to always have a pair of sunglasses in my car, in my bag. These areas here, if you tend to go outside in really, really bright, you know, kind of environment and uh, your eyes are always constantly squinting and trying to keep the light out, you know, from like harming your eyes. So when you squint a lot for a long period of time, lines tend to form. Speaking of light, Take breaks from being on the computer, your tablet, your phone. In such a like technology-centered world now, we're always on some kind of device and they're actually very straining on the eyes. Focusing and you're stressing the skin around here to create lines and things like that. You don't want premature wrinkles, so just stay away from um, being on computer for like four or five hours straight. I know it's easy to say. A lot of times when I'm editing, things like that, I want to finish the whole project from the like beginning to end. And a lot of times, sometimes it takes two or three hours. I'll sit there for two or three hours. It's really bad. But whenever I remember, I will try to at least, you know, close my eyes a bit, look away for a bit, go for a walk. Speaking of lights, I hate sleeping with the lights on. I don't know about you guys, but I'm the kind of sleeper that likes to sleep in the dark, like pitch dark. Um, but sometimes I'm like really tired and I just, you know, go down for a nap and I forget to turn off the bedroom light. And I don't know if you guys experience this, but when you wake up from that, your eyes just feel really tired. And it's because, um, the surrounding eye muscles is trying to, you know, block out the light and make you fall asleep easier. And again, it's putting the pressure and straining the muscles around here, causing the skin to, um, do this kind of motion, you know, a lot of lines will tend to form so it's best to sleep with the lights off. So after a long productive day, I really like to go in with a warming eye mask. So I'm talking about something like this that comes in a packet. There's one in each packet and you can get these in boxes of 14 or something like that. Now if you don't have warming eye masks, you can always take a towel, wet it in warm water and then just fold it up and put it on top. Now let's move on to the skincare part. Skincare, the most important thing here is hydrate, hydrate and hydrate because now hydrated skin is soft, plump skin. Plump skin means that you can reduce and minimize the look of lines and it'll slow down the wrinkle formation process. So a must have in my skincare routine morning and evening is to have an eye cream. Eye creams come in many different textures. There's gel, there's like a light lotion type and there are creamy types. Under eye area is really dry. I like to use more of a creamy one. But if you have like oilier skin or if you like more of a lightweight feel, then check out like a gel type. There isn't like a perfect eye cream out there for me yet. Like I found really good ones, but whether they're perfect for me, I can't say. Next thing are eye patches. Now I love these for once or twice a week type uh, eye mask. These are called the hydrogel patches and they're usually the hydrogel ones because hydrogels are really good at holding on to moisture. So when you when you put it underneath your eyes, they look like this, let me show you. It's gonna really hydrate the under eye area. Ooh, very jelly. As you guys can see, there's a lot of product in here. Um, and then you'll just take like a strip and then just put one here, put one here and just let it sit. I usually let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and after I take it off, so much more plump and I feel like it just reduces the look of any like smile lines and things like that. Um, I like to do it before bedtime so that, you know, all the essence has time to soak into my skin overnight and the next morning my under eye area is just that much more 
radiant, plump, and youthful looking, I feel. So I really love that. Next thing, um, which is like a huge major change for me, and I really love using this, is to use a less of a greasy facial oil. Um, I would say that this is almost like non-greasy, and I know you're like an oil that's non-greasy, <laughs> but if you're um, familiar with facial oils, you know that certain oils are less greasy than others. The Alginus Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil is really great for the under eye area because I don't feel like it's too greasy and I can't use anything too greasy and emollient under there or else I'll get like milia. And if you guys um, are curious about what that is, I have a milia video on my channel, you can go check it out. Basically, I get milia from really greasy or emollient products, so uh, I have to be careful with like finding really moisturizing products. At the same time, it can't be too greasy type thing, you know? It's like a fine balance. But this is really great. I just um, put a drop or two into my hand and I take my ring finger and I just lightly pat it on to my under eye area. Just let it sit overnight and again, next morning, it's like radiant, glowy under eyes. It's less dry, so I really love that. Okay, now let's move on to makeup, makeup. It's all about the makeup application and the technique that really makes a difference in how your under eye looks. The key thing is, of course, prep your skin with skincare so that you know it's nice and hydrated, it's smooth, and then go on to your makeup. So for makeup, the very first step before I go in with any kind of concealer is a primer. Now, I only use this for the under eye area. I don't use it for all over the face. So I take a bit of this, like, just half a pea size is all you need. This is a silicone primer, and I love silicone primers for filling in smile lines and creasing and things like that. It's like, I feel like after I apply this, it just smooths your under eye area out. It reduces the chance of creasing, and also it just makes your concealer look so flawless, like smooth. It gives it a smooth canvas to work with, you know? So um, this is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. I've talked about this for years. Back when I used to do makeup videos, I always use this. Um, and this is oil-free. I know there are some people who don't like using silicone primers. It's all personal preference, um, but I really don't mind them. They don't do anything bad to my skin and they just really help it look very smooth and flawless. Now, this is like a skincare product, but I use this throughout the day, even when I have makeup on. It's like a facial mist. Oh, I'm gonna, I hate that. I like, my eyes always go um, But you spritz it on and basically it just hydrates your skin throughout the day. Oh, that is not very tasty. That's bitter. <laughs> now, because I'm dry skin, I don't like to use powder. Whenever I use powder, especially underneath the eye area, I look in the mirror a couple hours later and I'm like, shit, it looks like um, dessert on my face. So I stay away from that. But I know that some people like to bake underneath the eyes to get rid of creasing. And you can do that, but go with a very light hand if you have fine lines or wrinkles because any type of powder will emphasize dryness, lines, and things like that. For people with mature skin, lines, wrinkles, stay away from highlighters, well, you don't have to completely stay away from, but don't put highlighters on areas with wrinkles because what highlighters do is they make a certain part of your face pop and it draws attention to it. So if you're gonna put highlighter on, you know, right here, if you're developing wrinkles around the eye area, it's gonna draw attention to it. And that's the first thing that people will see. So anything that you want to pop or stand out, you apply highlighters on. Anything you wanna draw back and hide, you put matte colors on. So matte blushes, for example, is amazing for mature skin or people with uh, fine lines on the face because you can add color but not draw too much attention to those areas. Okay, speaking of high shine, highlighters, things like that, if you have lines or like saggy eyelids, it's best to stay away from high shine, sparkly, glittery eyeshadows. You have a love for like sparkly eyeshadows, go for it, whatever. It's definitely gonna draw attention to it. It's gonna make people see like all, every single line on the lids. Do share with us your tips and products you like to use and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.